EPIM, the European Programme for Integration and Migration, is a collaborative funding initiative involving more than 20 foundations active in Europe. In operation since 2005, EPIM is hosted in Brussels by the network of European foundations. EPIM aims to strengthen civil society organisations, to influence policy and practice developments, and advocate for constructive approaches to migration in Europe. As a funding programme, EPIM uses grants to support projects led by civil society organisations. Thanks to EPIM funding and support, we've been able to really materialise the idea of a Europe-wide database that contains up-to-date information on the asylum system and has developed into a running core activity of the organization whereby we update the situation happening on the ground and provide a comprehensive picture of the treatment asylum seekers get in different European countries. EPIM funding is organized into so-called sub-funds, each of which address an issue of particular urgency, opportunity or concern through dedicated funding. We believe by having a, a, a targeted issue and geographic focus to our sub-funds, we will actually have deeper impact. At the same time, we're helping to widen the field of actors. The sub-funds allows EPM member foundations to involve new funders who might be interested in just some very specific aspects of migration. For example, we're looking at the issue of immigration detention. Now this is a growing problem in Europe and worldwide and we wanted to look more closely at what exactly we can contribute to but what the, the partner organisations on the ground think are key issues. Grant making in EPIM does not stand alone. It is accompanied by what we call the Funding Plus approach. Through Funding Plus, EPIM provides opportunities for capacity and network development, such as trainings and peer learning workshops, to sustainably strengthen the organisations we work with. The advantage of EPIM is that it's got EPIM Plus which goes with it, and for us that meant that we came together with others from very different countries, very different projects, very different organisations, were able to network, and that's extremely important when you're dealing with the movement of people across borders. EPIM keeps open the possibility of creating new sub-funds if needs or opportunities arise and if there is particular interest between foundations. Within each sub-fund, calls for proposals are opened on a rolling basis which allows for a steady flow of funding opportunities for civil society. So we hope for a gradual expansion of topic areas, more foundation partners, more funds and more partners on the ground. So that's the ambition for the future. As a platform for collaborative pooled funding, EPIM brings together foundations from different countries who address migration together and at a European level. The benefit is that we are, have already been working on these issues for a decade. So long term, it allows us now to be ahead of the game. Migration is going to be clearly a defining issue for Europe, but it's also a defining issue for the 21st century. It's critically important that foundations collaborate on issues around migration, because migration is happening across Europe, and so often foundations really only operate in their own member state. And because this is an issue that's pan-European, we need to come together to find solutions across Europe. Through the Secretariat, which has a lot of expertise on this, but also through the individual knowledge of different foundations in different member states, all together we are really creating a great centre of expertise that helps individual foundations to engage at a European level at a very low threshold. EPIM is a crucial source of independent and flexible funding to support activities by civil society organisations in Europe focused on advocacy, transnational networking and support to migrants. I think that private funding is very, very useful also in the concept of Europe, uh, especially to help NGOs remain independent. 
we were able to be the authors of the project, the real authors, and uh, we were given the chance for our projects to reflect the real needs on the ground. EPIM funding is quite unique um, in a sense because it looks at problems both on a domestic and on a European level. If one looks at domestic realities one by one, you would see that all the problems faced by one member state are systemic issues seen to a certain degree in all member states. So having the opportunity to take this through a European platform creates an added value of having issues dealt with on a European level.